welcome to another gospel-kingdom.com video. In this video, if you see me discussing a page on my website, you will see a picture of that website and a link to that page. You'll see a pink area with a circled name of that link. So just go to the website as shown here and click on that link as shown in the picture and you will go to that page. You will also find the link in the description below the video. I also want to state if you wish to watch my videos faster you can easily do so by clicking on the gear icon in the bottom corner of the screen then click on the playback speed and put it on 1.25 if you watch my videos much faster this is how I watch other videos so I get through the videos much quicker alright thank you enjoy the video and have a good day hello new video today say we're gonna do manifest sons of God part 2 the new apostolic reformation so this is part 2 of the manifest sons of God movement with an emphasis on the new apostolic reformation you can find part 1 of the video here It is called the latter rain manifest sons of God video this video is not only part two of that, but is a di direct response to two videos by others. Amir from Behold Israel did a video called Exposing the New Apostolic Reformation. And you can find that video here. Also, the YouTube preacher Jerry Tony did a follow-up to Amir's video and is simply called 2020. I will link to it in a couple minutes. First, I want to talk uh, a little bit about this. Sadly, Amir's video has audio issues. As his guest, who, is, who has studied the New Apostolic Reformation, can barely be heard through much of that video. But still, I recommend you watch it. Amir has been telling the public of this uh, video before it came out for at least two months, if not more, beforehand. And I concerns over it. Uh, even before he did the, the video, but in general, I think it is a fine video. I even had a discussion about the video before it came out on a Facebook Christian webpage because um, I know some people deny that the apostles and prophets exist today, so there was a discussion there about that. This was my biggest concern concerning Amir. I did not know where he stood on this issue, um, but he he did make a stance and made it clear he, that this was a separate issue. But I don't think he made a clear enough distinction between the apostles uh, that do exist today and that they are of Scripture and biblical and correct uh, versus false apostles. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that here in this video. So what is the New Apostolic Reformation? Well, those two videos will go into much more detail. But it is the name of the movement behind the Manifest Sons of God doctrine. Although some of them don't even know this or recognize the name because they are not a denomination or any formal group. Only a loose network of ministries who have agreed on many of these doctrines. Amir goes into the history of this movement in much more detail and much more than I ever knew before. Although I am no expert. I just have had dealings with this movement over the years with people I personally know. Amir does not name any names, but does expose doctrines from it. However, Jerry Tony does name names in his video. And it is here I must give a warning. Jerry Tony himself has some errors. And my very last video, I discussed probably his worst error and that is Christians can lose salvation really easy and or he may simply state that they were never saved to begin with because he preaches that you have to repent before you are saved. Anyways, please watch my video concerning these uh, issues with Jerry Tony in my previous video here titled The Gospel of Repentance. There are two other issues of Jerry that I must address before linking to his video. Jerry believes the rapture must occur at during the Feast of Trumpets. This is a Jewish celebration that occurs during the fall. 
He believes this is based on the idea of the words Jesus used in Scripture, which he and a few others believe is a reference to a Jewish phrase pointing to that actual feast, the Feast of Trumpets. However, Amir, who is Jewish, denies this. In fact, I only see Gentile preachers preach this and do not see any Jewish Christians preach it at all. It is not an important issue for me, but needs to be stated. It is important for Jerry, however, so you can understand his uh, stance on these issues. Lastly, I have seen Jerry share things on his videos that are not actually true. They're factually false. Uh, he is prone to believe fake news or false accusations. Therefore, take his information with a grain of salt and confirm his information if you think it is important enough for you to know and study. Specifically, the names of those within NAR, N-A-R, the New Apostolic Reformation. Okay, so here is the link to Jerry's video on NAR. It's called 2020. Now, Jerry states that NAR is connected to the New World Order, but admits he has not studied this out. Personally, I think those involved in this doctrine, if they are not raptured, may fall prey to the false prophet afterwards, if the false prophet is the Pope, who I believe it will be, but not sure. If they are involved now in joining with Rome, as some of these folks are doing. I also believe Jerry did not distinguish enough on the reality that apostles and prophets exist today. This distinction must be made. Those involved in NAR simply have apostles who have fallen or are false apostles. Real apostles do exist, but understand that modern apostles do not create new doctrine. They do not have authority greater than the Bible, but apostles are men just like the rest of us and make mistakes. Unlike Rome, who states that the Pope is infallible. Please do not ask me to name a modern day apostle or prophet. I will not. I believe too much emphasis is put on titles. Instead, we must be inspectors of fruit and doctrine. Matthew chapter 23, verses 8 through 10. But you must not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, Christ, and you are all brothers. And call no one your father on the earth, for one is your father in heaven. Nor be called teachers, for one is your teacher, even Christ. While I myself claim to have at least one doma, fivefold gift, I do not name it. Instead, I use the word doma as my online username or in my email. I am simply a minister. I will let my work speak for itself. I don't need to claim to be anything. Everything I have and do is in Christ and his word in me. Even the gifts I have are from God. Okay, let us make our point with scripture on the fact that these gifts are available today. We're going to look at Ephesians chapter 4, 8 through 16, but we will skip a few of the verses. Ephesians 8, 4. Therefore, he says, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. And truly, he gave some to be apostles, and some to be prophets, and some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And this until we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to a full-grown man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we no longer may be infants tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine and the dishonesty of men in cunning craftiness to the wiles of deceit, but that you, speaking the truth in love, may in all things grow up to him who is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitted together, compacted, by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working in the measure of each part, producing the growth of the body to the edifying of itself in love. So that's Ephesians chapter 4. Let's go over a couple of these verses. Verse 8, Therefore he says, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. That word gift is the word doma 
in Greek, which I was speaking on earlier. These verses thus list the Doma gifts, or what are called the fivefold ministry gifts, or ascension gifts, because Jesus gave these when he ascended, or sometimes they are called the ministry gifts. Verse 11 simply lists these five gifts. Verse 11, and he truly gave some to be apostles, and some to be prophets, and some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers. And verses 12 through 16 refer to what they do for the church and for us individually. But the key for us today is in verse 13. Verse 13, and this until we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a full grown man to the measure and stature to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So we will have all these gifts until we have the unity of the faith and come into the full grownness, full grown in the fullness of Christ. Do we have such? Absolutely not. Therefore, these gifts remain. We're not in unity. We're not in the fullness in Christ. Just as I did not give the names on apostles or prophets that exist today, I'm not going to delve into their ministry here either. Suffice it to say, it is a foundational work. They build the church. But if you wish to know more about information about the apostles and prophets, I recommend these two books. Kenneth Hagin's book, He Gave Gifts Unto Men. It's a really good book. I think I only read this once, maybe twice. Um, I was told this actually was written, don't know if this is true, um, to, to concerning uh, Kenneth Hagin's uh, understanding of what Randy Shankle and his mistakes were. So I came from uh, Randy Shankle's church in ministry, and I cover many of his uh, situations uh, on my website. And I'm not going to go into that here. But he also goes in this book just about what apostles do and prophets and it's a really good book, and I highly recommend it. It does not specifically re relate to Randy, uh, to, to Randy Shanko, but it does go over you know, what apostles should do, what they're not supposed to do, and that kind of thing. It's a really good book. I highly recommend it. Another book by Kenneth Hagin is called The Ministry Gifts. Now, this one has been uh, much more used than the other one. It's already beginning to fade in colors here. This is a really good book. Uh, it goes into the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, and the ministry gifts, and even talks about the other gifts uh, on the Holy Spirit, because uh, the Doma gifts, they're going to actually have other gifts operating in their lives. And he goes over, you know, these gifts and how they work together, and how these ministry gifts operate. This is a really good book. It's, you know, it's a thinner book, kind of a workbook kind of a thing. Uh, really good study book if you want to know about the gifts of God. Now, I know some people say that there are only 12 apostles, and that's it. But if you actually study scriptures, other apostles are named. I'm going to list from scripture of at least 25 apostles, and I'm going to list them on the screen here. All right. So yes, the gifts of apostles and prophets continued and others are named in scripture. Yes, even other prophets are listed in scripture as well. By the way, the church fathers in the first, second, and third century church all wrote about the continuing work of miracles and gifts in the church. So don't believe this business that miracles and apostles and prophets died with the first century church. It is just an absolute lie that Satan does not want you to have these things operating in your life. But while apostles and prophets do exist, so do false apostles and false prophets, as they had those back in the early church as well. Also remember, apostles and prophets are not perfect. They deserve equal grace as those others in the other three gifts as well. So just as pastors and teachers are not perfect, Apostles and prophets deserve equal grace as them. But all ministers do receive a harsher judgment, a stricter judgment by God. We see this in James chapter 3, verse 1. 
My brothers, do not be many teachers, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. Paul himself also spoke about this in Corinthians. The new apostolic reformation is dangerous. It teaches bad doctrines. If a doctrine is bad enough, it is considered heresy. Only God knows where that line is on that. But I try to avoid it at all costs, because heresy can cause you to lose your place in the kingdom of God. Galatians chapter 5, 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are clearly revealed, which are divisions, heresies, and things like these, that they who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I know I did not cover NAR in detail, that is the New Apostolic Reformation, but I've given you resources to know more if you wish. I will, however, share one such bad doctrine here, and that is what they call kenosis. Some of them believe that Jesus emptied himself of his divine nature and was only man while he was here on the earth, and that he actually had to be born again. Some believe he suffered torture in hell by demons. These are heresies. Horrible. Again, as I talked in the first video, not everyone involved in the Manifest Sons of, Doc uh, Sons of God doctrines have the exact same doctrines and ideas on all these things. So you have to be careful and can't say, well, if you're in this, then you believe all these things. And they don't all believe that. And some of them will hide what they believe and not truthful in it either. All right, I want to share one last thing from Jerry Tony. Jerry Tony is a huge fan and follower of Perry Stone. Perry Stone is one of those teachers who has promoted the rapture will occur on the Feast of Trumpets. By the way, we are discussing a seasonal date, not a specific year. Therefore, because Jerry is adamant on this doctrine, I believe it to be relevant that Jerry states that Perry Stone is a fan of Paula White. And, and Perry Stone has also begun to work with those in NAR. Jerry has said he's going to stop listening to Perry Stone. By the way, if you want to know who Paula White is, I do discuss her on my Trump video, and you can see that video here. Now, I've been aware of Perry Stone for many, many years, and I was troubled with him with him or in my heart early on back like in in the 90s and I and I saw that even back then he, he was creating doctrines based on customs of the Jewish people now creating doctrines from anything besides scripture is dangerous we can use Jewish customs to elaborate on teachings from scripture but they cannot be our source also, since I believe the rapture can occur at any time, and since the Feast of Trumpets is part of any time, I'm not opposed to it happening then. I just doubt it has to occur then. Okay, hopefully I've given you the resources and scripture to be wary of the new apostolic reformation and the manifest sons of God movement. If you see this heresy, run away. All right, hopefully this video has blessed you. Hopefully it's given you some understanding of these doctrines and these this movement. And it's something to stay away from and help, you know, if you know someone in it, you help them understand these truths. Again, you can share this video or the other one I have with others so they can understand these truths as well. All right, thank you. God bless and have a good day.